Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about Adonis LA, which is basically a social authentication provider for Adonis framework. So in this video, we'll build a very little feature called login with Facebook and we'll see how exactly we can make use of the LA provider. So out here, I have a brand new project uh, called Social, which is basically an Adonis app. And we'll start by uh, installing the provider very first. So I'm gonna say, uh, npm i save Adonis LA uh, like this. Once the installation has been done, we'll just have to set up the provider as always. So uh, get into the bootstrap slash app.js file and out here we need to basically set up um, the providers. So that's going to be Adonis LA providers, uh, LA provider. So that all needs to be done inside this file. Uh, the very next thing that we need to do is we need to set up a middleware. So what exactly that middleware does, it basically attach an object called LA to the request object, which means inside your controllers, you can access it and you can basically redirect your users to Facebook, Google, GitHub, and to all available drivers. So uh, what I'm gonna do next is uh, open the app directory, HTTP kernel.js file. And out here, I'm going to say Adonis, middleware, LA. That's all that needs to be done with the setup process. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some routes and see how exactly we can make use of LA. Uh, the very first is the welcome route. We'll let uh, this route be there and register a couple of more. So I'm going to say route.get uh, Facebook slash login. Okay, and let's put it inside a controller called login controller dot redirect and copy it, paste. Uh, let's make this one authenticated. Uh, this is the one which is basically the, the route where the, where the user will be redirected uh, after giving the permission from the Facebook uh, page. So here we're we gonna say handle callback, okay? Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the welcome view and clean up what's already there. Uh, and out here, uh, basically create an anchor tag, which will say uh, a login with Facebook. So I'm gonna say link to action, which is basically a view helper to create an anchor tag. And out here, we can say login controller dot redirect. So basically what we are trying to do is we're trying to create an anchor tag, which will have the href uh, pointing to whatever the URL defined next to this action. So that will be Facebook slash login, okay? And the title or basically the text of the anchor tag will be uh, login with Facebook. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, next, let's remove the styles from the CSS file, uh, which is inside watch public directory style.css. Let's get rid of everything. And inside the master template, let's get rid of this footer so that we can only see that anchor tag on the web page. That's all. Okay. So I'm gonna say npm run dev, which is basically to start a development server and go to code 3333. So here it says login with Facebook, right? But once we click on it, it says cannot find uh, a login controller. That's fine because we need to create it. So uh, we're gonna say a make controller. So a is basically an alias for ace and the name of the controller will be login. Okay, that's been done. Again, do a refresh on this page. It says undefined method redirect missing on login controller, which means we need to create this method on login controller. So out here, now let's define the redirect method, which will accept a request and response. Now the responsibility of this method would be really simple. All we really need to do is we need to uh, select the correct driver, which is Facebook in this case, and redirect to the Facebook page. So I'm going to say yield uh, request dot la dot driver that's Facebook dot redirect. Trust me, that's all that you really need to do in order to redirect to Facebook. So let's do a refresh. This time it says, make sure to define Facebook configuration inside this file. That's true. We need to define the configuration for Facebook, like the client ID for OAuth, client secret, and a redirect URL. This is like some really basic stuff in order to use OAuth. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to set up this file inside the config directory called services.js. And say so you extract, uh, maybe uh, say services configuration. Okay. And out here, I'm going to say module.exports. And inside it, uh, it needs to have an object called LA. And uh, inside that, we're going to say Facebook. Uh, we need a client ID. Okay. We need a client secret and we need a redirect URI. Now, don't worry about all these things. It's, it's documented on the official website. You can basically figure out what all needs to be configured and how, but just for the sake of this video, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm basically not going to reference documentation. So next thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna reference the client ID, client secret, and redirect URI. Uh, from the, the env file because client id and secret is sensitive data and you should not never keep it inside plain files that you're going to commit to your version control like github uh, always always make sure that you put all your secure stuff within that env file so we're going to say env.get uh, fp client id okay uh, the next will be env.get fp client secret and env dot get uh, app url okay uh, that's all or maybe we'll need a little bit more out here so what we need app url slash facebook slash authenticated okay so this is the url where the end user will be redirected once they give permissions to our app that we can access their facebook profile and same URL needs to be whitelisted with Facebook. Uh, and, and that is something that you can read uh, within, within Facebook documentation. And here we will just import ENV. So we're gonna say use ENV and fetch these variables out of the .env file. So FB client ID, FB client secret, and app URL. So app URL will be HTTP, localhost 3333 now don't uh, think that the app url will always be same as host colon port because this is the local host like uh, where you're running your app and the app url can be different from the actual host and and, and in and in majority of cases it, it will be different so this needs to be a public url like like the domain of your application uh, the FP client ID and client secret is something that you can grab from the Facebook console. I'm going to do it behind the scenes. Okay, I'm done setting up these two secret variables inside the .env file. And I believe now we are good to go. So uh, let's reopen the browser, do a refresh. It's going to redirect me to Facebook. And now we get another error which says handle callback method is not defined in login controller. So let's quickly define this method and let's talk about what uh, exactly happened right now. So handle callback, I'm going to say a request, a response. And for now, I'm just going to say a response dot sent. I'm good. Okay. So let's go back to the home page, do a refresh and click here, log in with Facebook. It says I'm good. So what exactly happening right now? Uh, very first, um, inside our welcome file, we are basically sending the user to this particular action inside login controller. Now from here, we simply redirect this request to Facebook. Now since I have already allowed my application to, to use my Facebook uh, profile details. That's the reason Facebook does not show me the same pop-up again, but if I'll be use, doing this inside a private uh, window, so let's do it here and say login with Facebook. Uh, for sure, it does goes to Facebook. Once I'll log in, it will ask me whether you wanna uh, give the permission or not. Once I'll say yes, it will redirect me back. So that that is something happening out here. Uh, once I've been redirected back, uh, I can see a code out here, which is basically sent by Facebook. Now, you won't have to worry about this code. Uh, LA can process it internally. All you really need to do is uh, fetch the user profile using a helper method called getUser. So I'm going to say FB user. Uh, I'm going to copy paste all this from here till here. 
and say get user and for now simply say response dot send fb user okay so let's redo it once again go to home page click login with facebook it authenticates with facebook then it gets redirected to our page and for sure you can see my uh, user id my email address uh, my profile picture nickname access token and all that stuff okay so <clears throat> uh, next thing we're going to do is um we are basically going to save this user inside our database and once we're done doing that we'll log in this user right so that's that's what exactly we are trying to achieve we are trying to log in someone without a password using their social profile which is facebook in this case so what we're going to do is here we're going to say a make a new model called user uh, with a migration okay so it basically creates a model and a migration now let's open the migration file which is inside database migrations out here and we're gonna say dot string email dot string password uh, table dot string provider this is basically like uh, this user belong like got logged in via Facebook github or or, or which provider okay then provider ID if you need it for any reasons maybe after login you want to fetch their friends their profile and all that stuff using the ID and provider token that's basically in a reference to the access token so provider token so I believe that's all of course you can modify this table according to your requirements uh, but for now I believe that is all uh, next I'm gonna say a migration run uh, it says I need to install SQLite, so I'm going to say save dev SQLite 3, which is going to take a while. Okay, SQLite has been installed. Now rerun the migrations. Yep, everything worked fine. Uh, I believe now we are good to make use of our uh, user model. So I'm going to say user use. Uh, app model user okay and out here so so what we're gonna do this time is uh, something something a little different so uh, there are chances that the person who's trying to log in with Facebook already exists in our database in that case we do not want to actually recreate their profile or we do not want to reinsert their details in our database and if those details are not there then in that case we want to create a new row okay so so we are going to achieve that using a very helpful lucid method called find or create so uh, very first i'm going to say search attributes uh, that is going to be email and here in order to grab the user email we're going to say fb user the get email so every user is basically an instance of an LA user class. It has some helper methods to pull the values out of it. And you can basically get a reference of all these methods by documentation. Uh, next, I'm gonna say new user, which is basically if the user with this email address does not exist, create a new user. In that case, the email is going to be get email and uh, provider underscore id is going to be uh, fb user dot get id uh, provider token will be fb user dot get access token and provider will be facebook so that's hard coded out here uh, next we're going to do is we're going to say create a new user say yield user find or create which takes the first parameter as an object that needs to be used inside the where clause. So that is going to be the search attribute. And if we are unable to find the user with these search attributes, uh, what's going to be the payload for the new user, okay? And for now, just simply say response.sendUser so that we can actually see whether we have created the user or not. So let's redo it. Uh, go back to home page log in with Facebook it goes to Facebook comes back got inserted to our database and we can see there is an ID created at updated at timestamp with provider token the Facebook ID email 
So we have everything out here. Uh, next thing what we need to do is we need to log in this user, right? So that's that's the most easiest thing. So we're going to say request dot dot login via ID, and it's going to be user dot ID yield it, and <clears throat> in order to confirm whether we are able to successfully log in the user or not, let's register a protected route out here. So I'm going to say uh, route dot on slash profile let's say you can access your profile dot to render the profile view with a middleware call auth okay it's so simple so what exactly we are saying is uh, on this route render this view but make sure the user is authenticated with the help of the middleware call auth so if we go to this route as of now profile for sure it says login failure so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically uh, log in the user out here using the method called login by ID and instead of sending something, we'll redirect them to the profile view. So response dot redirect to profile. Okay. And let's create the profile view as well. So a make view profile and open the profile.njk file and create an issue saying uh, viewing profile for uh, current user dot email. Okay, so the current user is basically an instance of user model for the user who is currently logged in. It's it's a global provided to you uh, by Adonis itself. So you won't have to do anything extra in order to gain access to this, this global. Yeah, that's cool, I believe. Well, let's retry it for the final time. Login with Facebook. Uh, uh. Yep, for sure. It comes back to the profile page and it says wing profile for this particular user. And let's make sure we are not doing duplicate entry inside our database. So let's fire up the REPL and say yield use app uh, model user uh, dot all. And for sure, we only have one user out here, which means we are not recreating user uh, users. And this method called find or create is really helpful. So I believe that's all from the LA provider. You can check out the documentation. If you really like it, make sure to tweet about it and share the word. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.